Now, with your audio recorded, it's time to go over those tools that I had mentioned earlier. There are four tools that you can select from that have a single specific function. There is also a fifth tool, the multi-tool, which allows you to use each of the other tools functions all at the same time. We won't be going into either the envelope or the draw tools here, as they're a little more complicated than the others and not necessary to have a basic understanding of Audacity. The selection tool allows you to select a part of a track to manipulate simply by highlighting the area with your mouse. With a portion of your track selected like this, any adjustments you make or effects you add will only be applied to that selection. The selection tool also allows you to rearrange a track or selection on the timeline. If you need a track to start earlier or later than it appears, hover your cursor at the top of the track until a hand appears. Then click and drag to adjust its placement. If you are using Audacity on a Mac computer, you will have an extra tool, the Time Shift tool, that is dedicated to moving tracks around the timeline like this. The Zoom tool lets you zoom in and out of your tracks, making it easier to select smaller portions of a track or easier to see the entirety of your audio. Simply click to zoom in and hold down the shift button and click to zoom out. Of course, as previously mentioned, the multi-tool allows you to use all of these at once. I would caution against using the multi-tool at first anyways, uh, until you are more familiar with the different functions of each tool as it can be really easy to accidentally make changes without realizing it.